it's sort of two different pieces. Um, with the men, we're really running um, guys that probably need a tune-up going forward, need some race experience. Um, you know, with some of the guys we'll bring up there, we won't race per se, we'll work out. Um, William Mary's got a challenging course. It's a lot like some of the courses we'll see later in the season. So from, from a race and a workout perspective, it provides some value. On the women's side, it's to flat out race. Um, we need that intensity to balance what we've been doing in practice. And uh, William and Mary has been uh, one of the standards of women's distance running for the last 10 years or so. Um, last year, I thought we mat uh, matched up reasonably well with them. I'd like to see if we're a little further along. So yeah, the, the men are running 6K, which is a nice little bridge to the 8K debut next week. Um, and the guys that are seriously competing have very little experience at 8K, so it, it takes them from that high school 5K towards 8K. Uh, the women are running a straight 5K, and again, it's a difficult course. Um, so it, I think it'll provide a now nice uh, bounce into next week as well, but it's gonna be at the distance they'll, they'll be running. So from a physical standpoint, we're aimed at the, the championship portion of the season. So there's nothing specifically we're doing in practice right now that we're this is going to lead to sort of immediate success. But what we are trying to do from a mental perspective is learn from each opportunity and just be a little sharper in execution. Um, particularly right now when we're a little bit flat physically from the work we're doing, um, it really does put an onus on how they operate um, mentally, um, how they steer themselves to the rate race, the focus, composure, those pieces. Um, and if we can get those in line right now when we're fatigued and they're there when we're sharp and, and rested at the end of the year, obviously we're going to see some significant forward movement.